So the term integration actually does not refer to a program, but actually a combination of programs. Uh, being able to merge something like Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. Now how do we do this? Well, let's take a look at the background for just a second. If I pull up Windows Explorer, Windows Explorer is just going to give me a little bit of an insight as to what it means to actually have this integration effect. So if we kind of dig a little deeper into our uh, local disk, you can see that we have both our program files and our program files 86. I know this is a little bit of review from Windows uh, Module 1, but what's actually going on here is if we dig a little deeper into program files, you're going to see that we actually have a Microsoft Office folder, not a Microsoft Word, not a Microsoft Excel folder, Microsoft Office. And if we enter in, in that, again, I don't see uh, necessarily Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint. But I do see this Office 15. Now this Office 15, if I go into that one, you're actually seeing everything that Microsoft Office is. So that first file that we look at, notice it's Microsoft Access. There's Microsoft Excel. There's, uh, let's see, uh, Microsoft Publisher, if we're so lucky. A Outlook, uh, PowerPoint. We scroll down a little bit more. Microsoft Word, Visio, Microsoft uh, Windows Project. All of these programs are just different views of what it means to look at Microsoft Office. So when we are given a task like taking, say for example, a pie chart in Microsoft Excel and then placing that into a Word document. Say for example, I have some text written here and then I want right here, I want a nice little pie chart being displayed as well. I want to have kind of that same demographic. I like you know, I'm demonstrating, say for example, uh, the students that I have uh, who are passing, failing, and you know, passing by. I, I need to display that. It's a an end of the year report. Well, what actually goes into place here is that exact same amount. Say for example, here is that chart. Well, when I look at that, I want to take this file and I, or this this graphic, and I want to integrate it into Microsoft Word. I want to integrate this. Well, as simple as it was in the past, all I have to do is click on the copy button. Copy. All that's going to do is that's going to take all of my information that I have currently selected. For example, this chart. Copy. Now if I open up Microsoft Word, as soon as I go to paste this option, you're going to notice that that exact same uh, chart gets appeared. It appears in my screen. Now we do have a bit of a kind of vocabulary that we have to deal with before we can just accept this copy and paste effect. The first thing is that what we're looking at when we deal with Excel. This is actually known as my source object. My source object, because again, that's where the pie chart is originating from. Word, Word is actually known as my destination file. Destination file. That's where I want to put this pie chart. And the reason why I throw out these definitional terms is because we also have two other ones that come into play. You thought copy and pasting was just copy and pasting, but you were wrong. Wrong. We're actually looking at two other types of copy and pasting. One of them is known as embedding and the other one is known as linking. And depending on which one of these we select, we actually get a different sort of uh, integration between my pie chart and my Word document. Embedding, for example. Embedding basically makes a copy. It makes an entire copy of my Excel spreadsheet and then literally puts it into the Word document. Now what about linking? Linking actually sort of does exactly that. Uh, it, you can think of it like it creates a bridge 
between two files. Two files. So now instead of this blue uh, that we're seeing up here, well, we don't have that blue. Let me make that a little bigger. We don't get that luxury of a blue. What actually is going on here is now I create sort of a link. This data resides in the Excel file, but it's being displayed on the Word document. And if I make a change in the Excel file, that change also happens in Microsoft Word and vice versa. I can actually make changes in Word. So if we took a look at this guy right here, we just hit the paste button. Now, okay, that didn't do too much. I don't understand which one I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of him for a second. And I'm gonna click on the drop down menu for paste. There we are. The drop down menu for paste gives me a number of options. The first one is to use the destination theme and embed, embed, there's that key word again. Use that destination theme, our destination file, and embed the workbook. Embedding it meaning copy the entire workbook into Microsoft Word. That's what happens when we hit the paste button by default. Now if I right click on this chart, that actually will give me the option to edit my data and I can actually edit my data in Microsoft Excel. Now, something to take note of, this data right here is not the same as this data over here. If I make a change, say for example, you know, I'm fudging my numbers, I don't want my boss to think that uh, I have that many failing students, so I go, oh, I only have two failing students and I've got, uh, tack on those, so I got eight Bs. Ooh, look at that, now it looks so awesome, so great. My pie chart looks a little different. Why didn't it change over here? Why didn't it change in here? It's again, because I've deliberately copied everything over into my Microsoft Word document. So that luxury does not happen. However, this time let's say for example, let's take a look at the next option. Keep source formatting and embed workbox. Well, right now so far we, we're not using any color differences, so all we're just saying is format it using the Excel theme instead of the Word theme. Let's actually take a look at that. Let's say, for example, I change the theme of this to Ion. Now, that just changed the color a little bit. I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. I come back over to Word. That first option, use destination theme. I hit the paste button. Even though I changed the color, even though it looks like this in Excel, it looks like this in Word. Now, if I select the second option, keep source formatting, you can see I can use that Ion format. So source and destination. That's just these two words that we were talking about over here. So the next option. The next option was to use the destination theme and link the data. Link the data. That's the important part because now what I'm doing is I'm creating that bridge between my two files. Now in here, if I right click and I say to edit the data, I'm deliberately editing the data from the original file. Notice again, up here, it says book two. That's my original file. I make that change now. I say that there was eight students here and I fudge those numbers again. What I should see happen is in Microsoft Word, that same data changes. Now, if I don't right click on it, but I just make the changes anyway in Excel. I don't right click, I didn't say to edit the data, it doesn't matter. I come in here, and, oh well, let's. I don't like, you know, uh, maybe I don't wanna give it away too much, so I, I say it's a 7% and it's a 3% here. Well, again, those changes happen inside of Microsoft Word as well, because I've linked my data. Now the last one is if I just select the option to keep the source formatting and link the data, as it says, I just get to keep the coloring now. The last option there, just to show it off, was take it and just turn it into a picture. And that's exactly what it does. I can't edit the data anymore. All I get is a picture version of it. Now something to take note of, again, because Microsoft Office is just 
or Word is just another view of the data. Excel is just another view of the data. When I click on this chart, notice I get the chart tools options. These are the exact same options that I got when I was in Microsoft Excel. You see, I click on the chart, I get the same chart tools options. If I click on design here, you see what I get. If I click on design in Microsoft Word, I'm gonna get the exact same. The colors are gonna be different because we're using a different theme, but you can see this format, format. Everything looks slightly different, but notice the shape styles are the exact same. The color is a little different, the word art styles. Everything is the same, except I'm just in a different program. And so this integration effect, it does have a few definitional terms. Again, those definitions are, I have a source object and a destination object. I can embed, make a copy, or I can link, create a bridge between two different files. They all matter and something to keep in mind when you're looking at least for your final exam.